Don't be fooled by that Arbok portrait. This is not some cute, innocent zergling. This is a Protoss. Much, much worse. Zerg versus Protoss. I do not at all feel like playing the 45 minute Sky Toss game here. Boys, I think it is time to pull out the two base Muta. Nice and aggressive. It cuts corners, leaves me open to uh, probably a charge slot all in would, would be the most devastating, but uh, got good potential. Didn't trust me. Never trust a random. Two things you should never trust. It's a random and a Protoss. Sorry, Terrence and Zerg, you don't get to be on that list. Opening up with a normal hatch gas pool. Got queens after the third queen. You can build the third and the lair at the same time. The third queen and the lair. That should be more specific. Core. Wait. Gate. Gate. Core. Two gate. So, yeah, definitely no Nexus. Noxus. Hmm. And a battery? What? Battery in the wall off already. This poor man, he has been hurt before. Probably a 12 pull as left this this one scarred sentry sentry first okay. based on that wall off I'm going to guess it's a stargate very defensive but maybe maybe we should check A loose. <laughs> the Ovi lives. <laughs> oh, that one's not. So he definitely flew over the lair. The question is, did he see it? Did he see the lair? Or my extremely late gases? You really should try and get the gases at the same time that you start your lair. Fire. Now we're going to save up for the Mutas, the Mutt Mutts. Round out the drone count from here. You're going to make the Mutas, and then you make the third base, and then you try and get some damage done. Void Ray. Perfect. Let 
Make sure I've got enough ovies and enough larva ready for the mutas. Take the third base, and then from there, it's going to be a bit of a judgment call, guys. Whether we go ham on the mutas, or switch into something else. Seven. Seven's not bad. Not bad. I probably could have had ten if I had the gases on time. Forty-two drones is... Totally good. Mm -hmm. Roach Warren behind this just in case I need it. I don't know yet. Better to have it. Robo, Twilight's doing stuff. Run away, probes. Get out. Try not to lose the mutas. Alright. Keep producing behind this. Macro, macro. Gonna start drone in the third, and now we need to see what his response is. Is it Phoenix? Is it Storm? Is it nothing? Stargate's idle. With the Stargate being idle, I'm gonna guess it's not Phoenix. <laughs> cannon? Making cannons? Cannons are not a very good answer either. He's also quite the fan of the all-army hotkey. You can tell because the warp prism is chasing my mutas. Let's help him out with that. Get rid of that prism. Okay. Macro, macro, macro. Transfer some of these drones. Get more on the gases. I think it's totally fine to just go full mutus. He is not producing any Phoenix. He's not going up to Archons. So I think I can just bully. Take a fourth. Go up to three base drones, but just keep strafing with the mutas, because why the heck not? That's hallucinated. Come on, man, make some real phoenixes. Alright, plus one's finished. 66 drones is excellent. Start adding on some zerglings too. Although, I might be able to just kill him with the mutas. Let's see. Stalkers are not good. But if that's all you have... Alright. That should be it. Yeah, GG. Okay. So, let's think about this for a second. What could he have done? What do you do as the Protoss in this case? Because I feel kind of bad about that. Immediately, I think he should have sent that warp prism across. 
send the war prism, send the zealots, try and get my attention back on my side of the map. Because as the Muta player, I want to be doing damage to your base. Make me focus on mine instead. And then use that to buy you time to either get Phoenixes or Archons and Storm. Archons will really make it so your army cannot just be cleaned up like that fight right there. Use the Phoenixes to engage with the Mutas directly, fend them off. Either way, focus my attention somewhere else. 